Today I want to tackle recreating one of my favorite sounds ever recorded. I'm talking about the lead part from Only Shallow by My Bloody Valentine, aka the vacuum cleaner sound. I'm not usually one to try and chase other people's guitar tones necessarily, but reading about the way this sound was achieved, I thought it'd be really fun to try and recreate it with pedals. Now, without the resources or the time that the band had recording this, I'm not exactly expecting to get 100% there, but let's see how close I can get as just some guy in his apartment with a bunch of pedals. Not too long ago, I was reading this article in Sound on Sound about Only Shallow. There's a lot of information about the production of Loveless in this song, so it's definitely worth a read. But in part of it, Kevin Shields kind of goes into the setup. He explains that he set up two different amps facing each other with one mic in the middle, and both of them had tremolo going on different speeds. He overdubbed that so you had four different rates of tremolo going at once. Then he says he took that and sampled it in reverse, so you're hearing both forward and reverse at the same time. He also mentions he played in an octave higher, which is something that took me a little bit to pick out in the song, but when I realized what he's talking about, it made a lot of sense. Let me start walking you through the setup for this. I'm going to be recording all the guitars direct into my interface using preamp pedals and then impulse responses for the cab simulation. I'm using the two notes wall of sound plugin. So on each track to kind of emulate the two amps facing each other, I'm going to have a different cab on each side. One is kind of a black panel fender thing and the other one is based off a of high watt. I gave the mics a little bit of distance from each cab because in the original recording there was only one mic on the two amps. So it makes sense that the mic wouldn't be right up on the speaker. So the signal comes in at the Benson Germanium fuzz, then it goes to the Boss Tuner and splits. One goes into the Model FET and into the Delta II tremolo, and the other side goes into the Soma 63 and into the Gravitas. I'll start totally clean and then turn on a pedal at a time. Now because that quote didn't mention anything explicitly about a fuzz, I tried it without first, um, but as you can hear, it didn't quite seem like there was enough gain to really make this sound happen. So in reading elsewhere, I saw a few mentions of the Roger Mayer Axis fuzz which is kind of a fuzz facey thing. So I grabbed the Benson Germanium fuzz, which I believe is also fuzz face inspired. I think I was able to get a lot closer once I put that into the mix. So this sound is all kind of washed out and melted together. So it's a little hard to tell exactly what's being played. But what it sounds like to my ears is that one guitar is just playing these bends from the G to the A over and over. And then the other track is going up to the high D and then dropping down and meeting the other track at the A. And then each of these tracks are being doubled by the reverse parts. Now as we switch over to the higher part, I will mess with the tremolo settings a little bit, change up the speeds. Let's hop over to Pro Tools. Um, 
I put together a little backing track for this. I did drums, and yes, I did sample the actual snare from Only Shallow, and then some bass and rhythm guitar. Now let's tackle these reverse parts. This was basically played back on a sampler. I tried making this sound happen with a few different pedals, but it, I couldn't quite get it to do exactly what I was trying to do, so I figured I'll just make this sound happen in the DAW. For each part, I'm basically grabbing a sample, starting on the second note so that when I flip it, it's playing the correct part. Then I just reverse it and kind of drop it into place. I had to kind of scoot it around to line it up, but this is what it sounds like. Now I'll stack that with the original take. And here are all four parts together. The last thing to tackle is this upper octave part that I mentioned earlier. I tried laying down an actual upper octave, just playing it on the guitar like that, um, and it just didn't really sound like it was actually there in the original recording. Then in thinking about the use of the sampler and some other stuff I had read about Kevin basically building synth sounds with sampled guitar feedback, I kind of put two and two together and realized that the really high-pitched synthy sound is probably the upper octave that Kevin's talking about here. Since this part wouldn't be in reverse, I figured I can try and make this one happen with a pedal. So I recorded a loop with the Montreal Assembly count to five and played that back up the octave. And then I doubled that part. I just grabbed all that and made a quick loop. So now let's hear all of the lead parts together. Now let's put in the backing track and let you hear the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun experiment. Um, let me know how you think I did. And if you're not subscribed, it would mean a lot if you did. Thanks again. See you next time.